Hi everyone. So today I am back with another workflow and this workflow was actually requested by most of the people on my last video which was uh, LTX image to video generation. So I already posted uh, text to video generation and this is the new image to video generation workflow and yes it works on even 6 GB of VRAM. I am using it on RTX 4060 with 8 GB of VRAM, and the video that you see, I'll show you every detail like how to upload the image and what is happening, how you can like create the prompts because this is the most important part, creating a detailed prompt with detailed movement. Now I'll mention everything, but just remember that this. a uh, in a video that you are seeing and it is actually not a small resolution this is uh, 1056 and 704 this is the proportion dimensions of the video so this has been generated in around 3 minutes on my 8 gb vram and this is amazing and i know a lot of people were commenting that uh, cling or other online ai video generators are better and that's true but having it open source and locally on your own pc is something different so let's get started with it firstly you can see there is a lot of addition to the text to video uh, workflow that you would see firstly there is this image to video ltx uh, image to video node here what is happening is that it is the same thing the length batch size and here you can change the image noise scale i have found that uh, 0.15 is pretty good now the positive all the positive and negative prompts uh, vae image width and height what i have done is that let's talk about the uh, things that you need to input width and height i have created one single control that will be going to this particular node for the empty latent also the image to video and here it will also go to the resize node so whatever image you are actually uploading it would be resized according to that right one thing you must remember is that uh, it must be divisible by 32 now if it is not divisible by 32 sometimes it would give an error and sometimes i have seen that the generation is broken but the thing is it has to be divisible by 32 so here you can see 1056 and 704 are divisible by 32 right and never exceed also another thing is that uh, never exceed never exceed uh, 1280 and 720 so then the model starts give uh, starts to give like very broken and abrupt uh, changes in the movement and it is not coherent to what you actually prompted now here you can see i have uploaded an image right and this is basically going to resize and then this part i actually was going through reddit and i found that if you you uh, like combine it uh, create it into a video and then again like change it using the uh, encode then it kind of like helps uh, to generate better results because that is how ltx video was trained on so rather than directly connecting you can also try like directly connecting this image but i have seen that uh, it uh, generally performs better when there are some kind of, uh, some kind of like uh, noise or cuts in between the image so this video combine thing actually improves it so this is the second part now let's come to the most important thing that is prompt now you see you have to actually provide some details about the image and then a very descriptive uh, like descriptive caption of the action that is going on and i have seen it is way better if you are like uh, going through small increments like if someone is jumping so just mention how they are jumping like uh, how much uh, is the height of the jump and they landed on their feet the clothes uh, are having ripples every small and minute detail actually helps uh, in the coherency otherwise if you just put a very small 
thing that a woman just turned around then you would see that uh, the image is broken and sometimes you would see that uh, it would feel like there are two different images that are been combined two different videos and for that what i am doing is and this is actually very important like i cannot stress enough the importance of prompt because this is going to make uh, like complete difference so here you can see the coherency is very good one thing ltx has slight problems with eyes somewhat like stable diffusion so if you prompt good eyes or beautiful eyes it kind of helps in the generation so the, here you can see that the woman is turning around and it is very coherent right so what i did is for here i am using uh, perplexity but you can use any free uh, ai like uh, that can be chat gpt or you can also use deep seek this is completely free so i also have an example here as well so i just mentioned a woman is wearing a crop top with full loose sleeves and denim jean de denim jeans she moves gently from left to right delicately only her upper body is visible in frame the background is uh, of a palace right a very like uh, oh, it's just an overview of what the image is and what the action i want now i am asking this ai to expand this to 150 words described in extreme details about the movement so they are coherent this is for an ai video generator so it needs uh, each and every detail about the movement right so it generates something this is not the exact one that i have here uh, used here in this i previously generated another one right and i did some like little bit of editing so you can take this this is actually a pretty good start you can see she pairs it with high waisted jeans and uh, if you see something is not matching like this uh, if this is not high waisted jeans just remove it or you can put it in the prompt here as well right you can uh, work in both the ways here you can see begins to sway gently from left to right her shoulders roll slightly as she moves creating a natural rhythm that flows through her arms her loose leaves ripple and wave with each motion so you see it's not just turning around or moving from left to right how her shoulders are shifting uh, the natural rhythm flows through the arms and this is actually important because you would not find cuts in the movements of arms right and uh, uh, loose leaves ripple uh, and wave with each motion so that realistic movement of the fabric everything uh, is de described here you can obviously edit it and if you don't have if you don't find that the normal uh, chat gpt is providing good results you can always try deep seek i also have a complete video on deep seek but this is one of the best models out there which actually actually crossed uh, chat gpt 4.0 in benchmarks so i have provided the same prompt that you can see i provided here and it gave a more detailed prompt to us so you would need some uh, editing or you can just one best thing is that to remove the parts that describes the already given image you just need a very basic detail of that image and keep uh, like at least 70% of the prompt should be about the movement and what the video should be about not uh, what the image already is so from here you can also uh, copy paste it and this is how you can get the prompt right and with that here you can see everything else is pretty much same like the text to video generation the attention override here i am using is 14 i already mentioned in the previous video you can also use 8 for some videos if you are not finding good results with 14 or you can make it like 8,14 as well this also worked with some of the videos that i tried out so 14 is a pretty good start right and uh, i generally don't tend to change the image noise scale but you can try changing it a little bit if you want another thing that uh, you can see here is hmm um, yes so you can see here i have reduced the steps in the previous video i was actually using 30 so i have seen that for image to video even 20 or 25 works pretty good so you cannot find problems in this so 20 to 25 is also good and it would help you to generate a little bit faster because we are actually increasing the size of the video so it's 
still takes under three minutes to generate so it is pretty good because even uh, a high resolution flux image can take more than that so yeah this was the complete video these are the seeds which i have found to be working very good and there are some seeds that would be bad like if you try any prompt i don't know what the reason is but this was also for text to video generation some of these seeds work bad uh, even if you change the prompt so these are some good ones obviously you can uh, like control after generate you can set it to random and you can try out different uh, seeds as well uh, which are good but these are some of uh, the seeds that i have found which work very well with uh, different number of prompts so this is it you'll have the link uh, for this particular workflow in the description box as well as all the like models and everything so yeah try it out don't expect like uh, professional results from it a very small model works on your laptop it is very good try to improve as much as you can and if you have any kind of doubt or comment or anything put it in the comment section below and i'll try to reply as soon as possible thank you